Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in today's video, I'm speaking about Alexander von Falkenhausen. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Ernst Alexander Alfred Hermann Freiherr von Falkenhausen was born on October 29th in the year 1878 on Gut Blumenthal. Upon completion of the cadet corps in Wahlstadt, he joined the Prussian army in March of 1897. In the year 1899, Alexander von Falkenhausen was deployed to fight the Boxer Rebellion in China with the Ostasiatischen Infantry Regiment, the East Asian Infantry Regiment. When Alexander von Falkenhausen returned, he married Sophie von Wedderkop in the year 1904. In October of the same year, von Falkenhausen attended the War Academy and was later transferred into the Greater General Staff in the year 1910, ranked as a Hauptmann, corresponding to the rank of Captain in the U.S. Army. After he studied the Japanese language, he was used in the Embassy in Tokyo since March 1912. Up in the outbreak of the First World War, the embassy in Tokyo was closed and von Falkenhausen returned to Germany. As general staff officer, he served on the Western Theater fighting at the Somme River, as well as on the Eastern Front participating in the Winter Battle of the Missourian Lakes. He also took part in the battles of Vilna and Yemen. Before he was transferred back to the Western Theater, a staff officer in the 5th Army where he was in charge to supply for the Battle of Verdun. In the year 1916, he was sent to the Ottoman Empire, where he became Chief of Staff of the newly formed army group Caucasus. During his time in the Ottoman Empire, he met his future friend Franz von Papen. In June 1917, he became Chief of Staff of the 7th Ottoman Army of whom he could achieve a significant victory against the British at the Palestine Theater, for which he received the Pour le Merite. In the interwar period, Alexander von Falkenhausen served in both troop and staff commands. He also commanded the infantry school in Alberstadt, ranked as a Generalleutnant, equivalent to the rank of Major General, from the years 1927 until 1930. After he left the Reichswehr, he became a military advisor in China and helped Chiang Kai-shek to build a national Chinese army. In the 1930s, there were two fractions in Germany. One was in favor for a German alliance with China and one was for an alliance with Japan. The latter one succeeded, which led to Alexander von Falkenhausen's involuntary return to Germany in the year 1938. Once he realized the real circumstances of his brother's death, whom died during the so-called Römputsch, where the National Socialists murdered high-ranking SA members and got rid of other opponents, Alexander von Falkenhausen contacted members of the resistance against the Nazi regime. Alexander von Falkenhausen was drafted right before the Second World War broke out. From the year 1940 till 1944, he was the military governor for Belgium and a small part of northern France. In this position, he was also responsible for the deportation of Jews as well as hostage executions. However, he tried to avoid and delay the deportation of Belgium Jews. During these times, he was well connected with the German resistance. Von Falkenhausen was relieved of his command on July 15th, the year 1944. Just five days later, on the day of Stauffenberg's attempted coup d'etat, von Falkenhausen tried to win von Kluge to open the Western Front for the Allies to end the war quicker. But von Kluge refused, since Hitler didn't die. For his connections, to the resistance, he was later arrested 
and sent to a concentration camp by the Schutzstaffel, SS. But due to a lack of evidence, he was not put on trial. Together with other prisoners, he was freed on April 24th, the year 1945, by Wichert von Alvensleben, who was a Hauptmann in the Wehrmacht. On May 4th, the year 1945, the freed prisoners were taken over by U.S. troops. And after the war, von Falkenhausen was tried by a Belgian trial that sentenced a 72-year-old to 12 years of forced labor but he was released after serving only three weeks. After his wife had died in the year 1950, he remarried Cécile Venn in the year 1960, whom was a Belgium resistance fighter. Alexander von Falkenhausen died on July 31st, the year 1966, at the age of 87 in the city of Nassau. Thank you so much for watching.